This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to make beautiful websites. Today I'm coming to you from Joshua Tree and I'm really excited to share with you this cool project that I worked on with my friends from the Latch Collective. This quirky school bus named Odd Job is being converted into a guest cottage and the owner wanted to create a separation between what will be the bedroom area at the back of the bus and the rest of the space which will have a living room and a small kitchen. The solution I came up with is this custom piece of furniture I designed with 2x4s and plywood. It will serve as the couch and an extra bed and the back portion will serve as a dividing wall to create a more cozy sleeping area. To build it, I thought it would be fun to team up with my friends from Latch, an LA-based company dedicated to empowering people with the skills that they need to build their own tiny houses. So we organized a hands-on building weekend out in the desert. The build started with getting all the wood cut, sanded, and stained with a couple of coats of a dark brown stain. With all the pieces done, we got started putting together the frame of the couch. We use a speed square to make sure that every corner is at 90 degrees before drilling pilot holes and attaching the boards together. An easy way to know what drill bit to use for drilling your pilot holes is to place a drill bit in front of the screw. As long as you see the threads on either side, you're good to go. Then we put in the middle supports, spacing them out evenly, and again making sure that they are all at a 90 degree angle. Next we assemble the short leg, starting with the flat middle piece and then putting on the top board. Then we put together the back leg, which we built the same way as the short leg, with the only difference being that the side boards were a lot longer and we also attached a piece of plywood to make it into the dividing wall. To assemble the couch, we started by attaching the front leg using a clamp to hold the pieces together. And here we got some extra help putting it together from our youngest DIYer in training. It's nice to have multiple people to work together on a project. In this case, we had one person drilling in the pilot holes with one drill and someone else putting in the screws with another drill. It makes things go a lot faster and it's also a lot more fun. We use the same approach to attach the dividing wall at the other end, tag teaming drilling holes and putting in the screws. We probably put in way more screws than needed, but better have too many than not enough. With the couch assembled, we were really anxious to see what it looks like in this space. So we did a quick test with the plywood and the foam, and it's perfect. With this test done, we rewarded ourselves with a nice lunch and also had some fun exploring the desert. The next day, we filled in the screw holes with wood filler, sanded it down, and then stained them to blend in more. We ended up having to improvise with Q-tips because we didn't have any small brushes. Now, of course, we could have avoided this had we waited to stain until after we assembled everything, but we made this work. We also worked on the bedroom side of the dividing wall, adding a piece of quarter inch plywood at the top, and that's going to hide a strip of LED lights. We also decided to make some shelves with the leftover plywood. We didn't have the proper supports to use, so we improvised some to see how the shelves would look. We couldn't find our level to check that the shelf was straight, but the level app on my phone did the trick. We ran out of stain, and of course we'll have to put in more um, sturdy supports, but we love how the shelves turned out. For the seat cushion, our approach for upholstering it was a bit unconventional, as we had to improvise to reuse a seat cushion that the owner already had. Because it was meant for a thicker cushion, we ended up gluing the three inch foam to the plywood, covered it with batting, and then stuffed the whole thing into the cover. We didn't have time to make the back cushion, so between that and the shelves that we have to finish, we're definitely coming back to complete the project. But even with just a few throw pillows, it's easy to imagine how cozy it will be to sit here and enjoy taking in the beautiful scenery. Look for more details on this project in the description below. I want to say a special thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you watched my previous video, you know that I'm rebuilding my website with Squarespace. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with how easy it is to use their all-in-one platform. I don't need to use any coding or programming. They also have amazing customer service that's available 24-7, which is really a lifesaver when you're stuck and need help to figure something out. So if you want to start your free trial and get 10% off, go to squarespace.com slash engineer your space. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want to know what I'm up to day to day, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.